2018 Bishop Shatard New Play Festival. Uh, this is one of my favorite events we do because all of the other shows that we do are have been previously produced or um, written, but these are all written by these playwrights right here. So every show you'll see. Oh, oh, we have a little bit of everything for you tonight. We have six shows. Um, we have, the first one is going to be more of a stage reading because these students have put these shows together in two weeks. The plays were written much before that, but they only had 14 days to rehearse. So we have a few staged readings. We have one play reading. We have musicals. We have drama. We have comedy. The playwrights and directors will introduce their piece before we get started. Um, and I do want to let you know that all the music you hear has also been created by the students. Wow. So sit back, enjoy, and our first show is Mr. Tom Lee Hartley's The Four Puzzles. I originally wanted to make a short film, but a lot of people I know went through separate ways. So um, I wrote this, I said to make it play, I wrote it so that people could understand what a person with autism goes through. One in 59 children are diagnosed with autism, one in 37 for boys, and one in 151 for girls. People with autism, people with autism though, can live with very normal lives. As a matter of fact, the Kansas City girls recently just signed in their first professional baseball player with autism. There are four types of spectrums with autism. There's Asperger's, Rett syndrome, not Tourette, Rett syndrome, childhood disintegrative disorder, and persuasive developmental disorder, not otherwise specified, also known as PDD NOS. <laughs> and I really hope this play will help you understand what it's like to have autism. Steven, it's time for lunch. You have to reach under your shirt to get to your stomach, all right? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Do you want to give me the feeding tube? Not for yes or no. 
Okay, give me the feeding tube. Thank you. I wish you could talk, Mickey. I wish Mom was here and knew where Dad was. You need someone more than a brother to take care of you. Someone who doesn't care that you have Brett syndrome. You have to experience the world someday, instead of being isolated in your room in the dark. Well, the door is always open, when you're ready. Ah. Did you come to your senses? Great, let's go to Marsh, I'm starving. <laughs> is he seriously still playing with baby toys? Because he don't. Don't what? Say what Asperger's is? Or say what autism is? In 99% of the cases, it's a brat who hasn't been told to cut the act out. Who told you that? Michael Savage is a conservative radio host. He knows nothing about childhood disintegrated disorder. He doesn't know what it's like having it or living with it. He's not even a conservative. If he was, he wouldn't have said something like that. If he knew nothing, then he wouldn't have been right about this. But that's enough. Get out of here now. I'll take care of Kyle. He doesn't have to hear any of your ableist comments. Kyle, do you want some TV? Okay, come on, turn it on for you. Let me know what channel you want. Let's go play. Do you want to go on the fire engine? Do you want to go on the swing? Go ahead, go ahead. No, you play with me. The swing's with me. for you to have a meltdown. Will you ever forgive me? Thank you. You know what? I got an idea. How 
how's he doing? Better. It's a good thing you found him. Really? When I told him that Mosh rewarded him, I... Lizzie, you didn't understand at all. Here, I wanted to show you this. Did he paint this? Yeah. People with autism are gifted. It just takes time to find out what that gift is. All four of the autism spectrums are like a puzzle. You never know what they can accomplish. I'm sorry to hear that, but you'll find someone. This happened to me five <laughs> times to every girl that I like. I'm never gonna find someone. Travis. Why couldn't she love me back? Why can't any girl love me back? I've done everything. I've been nice to her. I tried to be there for her. I went to the gym to lose weight. I have invited her to hang out with me, but she said she was busy. She won't even talk to me anymore. What went wrong? Why can't any of them just give me a chance? <coughs> they date some guys with physical disabilities, but they don't, won't date anyone with special needs. Is that too much for them? I may not play sports or act normal. Does there really such thing as normal? Some people have Down syndrome, some have cerebral palsy, some are missing a limb, some are short, tall, average, heavy, skinny, some have facial disfigurements, and finally, some have autism. There's three things that we all have, life, personality, and feelings. My autism is not a disability, it's a different way of thinking. Come on, you better get to class. I'm sorry, honey, was the part two overwhelming for you? I guess it was. It was. You don't like being questioned. No, I don't. I just don't understand. How can I help? Please tell me how I can help. I want you to be an advocate for me. Criticize the behavior, not me. Allow me to self-soothe. Never underestimate how much I actually understand. Have a consistent schedule. Be kind and gentle when I make a mistake, even though I've made so many mistakes. I want your voice to be low and calm instead of yelling at me even when you're frustrated. And I want you to empower me to solve my own problems. And that's exactly what I'll do. I will do my absolute best. What do you want for your tattoo, Steven? I want the autism puzzle pieces. Each puzzle piece should be blue, light blue, yellow, and red. All right, but I'm telling you, it's gonna hurt. Tom, I was a star athlete in high school. If I can handle a few tackles, bit by pitch, and technical fouls, I can handle this. If you say so. <laughs> I saw your painting. I'm really impressed by it. Kyle, I'm sorry. I didn't mean the things that I said. I just didn't understand until now. Whether you forgive me or not, remember, you're always being a brother, and I love you. What do you think? Do you think it was worth it? Uh-huh. I love you, sis. I love you too, bro. You just spoke. Yeah, a little. Travis, can I talk to you? I'll be all right. What do you want? I just wanted to say that I'm sorry about leaving you in the courtyard. It was really rude of me. Yeah, it was. It's just, I was nervous. Nervous of what? Going out with someone with autism? No. You went out with the guy with a disability before. I just don't get it. I never expected you to have feelings for me. <coughs> Besides, you've always been quiet. Madison, I've always had feelings for you. I tried to move on when you started dating something over the summer so you can be happy. When I heard that you two were no longer dating, I thought this is the chance for me. And the reason that I'm always quiet is because I don't know what to talk about, and people do. I don't know what you're interested in. I just wish there'd be actual friends. What do you mean? Well, we talked a few times. I was hoping that we could hang out with you and Chelsea at the March for like our junior year. You guys didn't, didn't go. After NCYC, you haven't talked to me since. And I was hoping for you and Chelsea to go on March for Life Indy, but you didn't go. That's when I left a note saying, I wish you were friends on your hotel door. That was <coughs> Yes, but there's also a note from Chelsea saying, I wish you could have hung out. 
but I don't know what happened to it. I was starting to think that you guys didn't go to these events because I went. I just started a conversation, but I want some to start a conversation with me. Is that why you asked me out? Yes. I thought asking you out would stop our friendship from drifting apart. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel like that. You're fine. I'm used to it anyway. No girl's ever going to give me a chance. What if I do? Huh? I've never given you my answer. What if I say yes? Um, that would be, that would be great. Friday at 6? Yes. It's a date. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we better get to class. I'll catch up. All right. <laughs>